Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So what our goal for today is, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take the transmission back out of the truck, and we're gonna remove the motor, and get the engine on the engine stand, and flip it upside down, remove the old oil pan, or the front sump oil pan, clean it all up the best I can, and if I have enough Toyota Bond, I will, uh, and I get everything cleaned up properly, I will hopefully get the rear sump oil pan glued on there bolted together and all that and if everything works out really smoothly and i can get all that done in a reasonable amount of time then we'll uh, hopefully put the engine back in cross our fingers for the last time uh, of course i'm going to paint the engine mounts while i have it apart uh, makes it a lot easier and if things really really go well then we'll put the clutch flywheel pressure plate all that back together in the truck as you saw in the other video of us installing the motor, we can't install it with any of that stuff on there, so I'll do it all underneath. And then hopefully put the transmission in for the last time too, and uh, then we can move forward on cooling system, fuel system, electrical, etc., etc. So anyhow, enjoy the video, and I'm going to try to get as much done as I can. I'm just going to do time lapse. You already seen me pull the motor out before, so this is nothing new. Uh, we'll just try and get this done as quickly as possible. Enjoy. All right, so as you can see, we got the engine out, got it flipped over. So basically got to take uh, the sheet metal pan off first. And then there is the sheet metal, sheet metal pans. It's got 10 millimeter bolts all the way around it. Not a huge deal. And then the upper oil pan, which is aluminum, has all these 12s, which includes these. This whole piece here is all part of the oil pan. Luckily, I got lucky and um, bolted the this to the engine block and not here. So this should all come off relatively straightforward, I'm anticipating. So we're going to go ahead and knock this out. Then I could get to cleaning all this up. They just use silicone, as you can see here. Uh, both pans just take a gasket maker. So we'll get that all cleaned up. And I already have the other pan over here I got it all cleaned up put it in the hot tank at work got it all cleaned up and so anyhow that's all ready to install once I get this one off and all cleaned up so anyhow onward and upward here we go I'll send you back on a time lapse and uh, we're just gonna peck away at this thing In case you're wondering what the hell I'm trying to do, um, I didn't drain the oil out of the damn motor. <laughs> so it's all sitting in the valve cover, leaking all over the floor. So what I'm trying to do is roll the engine over so that um, I can drain it out without making a ginormous mess, which I'm, I think I'm going to fail at. But we're going to try and uh, we're going to try and not make a mess if I can help it. Anyhow, in case you're wondering what the hell I'm doing, that's 
what I'm trying to accomplish. Uh, well, guess I should have uh, checked. Huh, that would have made sense. Anyhow, onward and upward. We'll keep plugging away on this thing, and I'll uh, do my best to try and get this thing flipped over and drain the oil out of it so that I can, uh, uh, yeah. I'm pissed. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, that was not for G-rated uh, audiences, that's for damn sure. So, as you saw, the bucket fell over, and I dumped, what, seven quarts of burnt-ass engine oil all over the place. So, uh, I'm going to spend some time cleaning this up. I'm not going <laughs> to make you watch me do it. So, um, I'm going to put a pause on this, clean up all this bullshit, and then... Um, See if I can maintain my composure and uh, continue on. What a goddamn mess. I am so pissed off right now, you have no idea. Anyhow, that's what's going on. Yippee, yippee, yippee. All right, just to give you some perspective on how big this mess is, I'm gonna go stand next to it to give you an idea how retarded this is. Yeah. Oh well. Sometimes you just have days like this. Alright, well, uh, luckily, uh, Glenn's going to get me some kitty litter so I can hopefully use that to clean this up because <sighs> what a mess. <laughs> oh, what a mess. Huh? Back to our regular scheduled program here shortly, hopefully. Uh, uh, it's going to take me longer to clean this up than I thought. But keep plugging away. All right, so I got most of the mess cleaned up. Uh, thank goodness. Bag of cat kitty litter and... Uh, a little bit of time. I haven't mopped yet because, well, I want to make sure I get the engine all sealed up before I even bother cleaning it up all the way because I'm pretty sure I'm not done making a mess yet. The valve cover is still leaking out of the vent tube. Not much I can really do about it. I'm just going to go ahead and let her fly. And uh, so right now, what I'm going to do is clean all these surfaces up. Uh, what I'm going to do, normally I'd use a gasket buzzer, but since I don't want to get a bunch of crap and debris inside the motor, I'm going to use a, a razor blade for the most part, and then I also have a wire brush just for some of the more difficult areas to get to, and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and throw you guys on time-lapse and knock this out real fast, and hopefully I have enough Toyota Bond to uh, put this, glue this thing together. may be curious as to what um, I I keep calling Toyota Bond uh, it's just what I've always called it Honda actually makes a legitimate Honda Bond that's what they call it but uh, this is what it is this is uh, from Toyota it uh, oil pan camshaft housing this stuff is legit it works <laughs> it works really really well uh, make sure to use gloves though it will stain that black will stain your fingers for days I don't know what's in it but uh, it sure will stain the shit out of your hands anyhow this will seal up I, obviously I clean this up quite a bit but uh, this stuff will seal with oil on it believe it or not I have a 22 R sitting over there that will uh, confirm that because I didn't really clean that timing cover up really good and I slapped this on there and it does not leak a drop. Hasn't yet, which is surprising because 22 hours love to leak oil. <laughs> uh, so anyhow, that's what the, um, that's what the Toyota, Toyota sealing silicone, whatever you want to call it, gasket maker. Um, so basically that's what I'm going to use to seal the upper oil pan and the lower oil pan. Looks like the stock stuff was gray. Um, 
I'm not sure exactly what it is. I'm assuming it's got to be something similar to this. So anyhow, uh, that's what I was referring to. As you can see, there's the part number and all that. I think I've had this thing up here long enough for you to jot down the part number if you so need it. Uh, I know they sell it at World Pack, so if you go to Advanced Auto Parts, they can get it through World Pack, or you can just go straight to Toyota and pick it up. Uh, I, I'm going to tell you, it's not cheap though. Don't think that it's, you're going to get a good deal on it or it's going to be cheaper than buying Permatex, but this stuff's legit. It works, it works really, really well. So anyhow, uh, uh, off my soapbox and we'll go ahead and uh, keep plugging along on this old project here. All right guys, well that's a wrap for today. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get quite as much done as I wanted to uh, due to the mess that you just saw. Um, I gotta stop by Toyota and pick up some more Toyota Bond. That little bit I do have in that container is not gonna be enough to seal up the oil pan, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick some of that up. And uh, we'll pick up tonight when I get home from work. I'll probably glue this thing together and uh, let that cure overnight. So that way I can flip it back over and uh, get this thing prepped up the rest of the way, paint the engine mounts, get everything ready to reinstall into the truck. Uh, so I really appreciate you watching my videos and if you haven't yet hit the like and subscribe button and hit the post notification bell that way you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and uh, have a great day and we will see you next time.